Hi, I'm Stephanie Obregozo, and today I'm going to be sharing with all of you some of the natural supplements and remedies that I use to keep my immune system strong this time of year. Uh, now that all these viruses and colds and flus are going around, it is a good idea to have some natural remedies on hand that you can take to ward off all of these illnesses. The first thing I want to talk about is something called colloidal silver. Colloidal silver is like nature's antibiotic and it is very potent. It's also antiviral, antimicrobial, antifungal, uh, in addition to being antibacterial. So it is very potent, very strong, and really good if you think you've picked up something uh, unwanted. You can take it internally very safely. Um, you can even use it in your eyes. They make one with this wonderful top that you can even squirt up your nose if you think you've got a sinus infection. Um, I thought I was coming down with an ear infection a few months ago and so I put a couple drops in my ear and within two days everything was gone and I was fine. So Sovereign Silver is one brand that I highly recommend. I've been using them for about a decade now. Um, you can get it probably at your local health food store. If not, you can order some on Amazon and they make ginormous bottles if you're like me and you like to mix it in with your homemade cleaning solution or with your soap, um, as well as smaller bottles for travel size. The next thing is oregano oil. Oregano oil, like sovereign silver or like colloidal silver, is um, also very anti everything. Antimicrobial, antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral. Uh, oregano oil is super spicy, so if you don't tolerate spice very well, you may want to get it in capsule form to swallow. Um, I like the spice, so I tend to just do four drops on my tongue, chase it with water, it'll make your eyes water. It's re really, really spicy, but if I feel like I'm coming down with something and uh, I really want to kick it quick, I will do colloidal silver in conjunction with oregano oil and usually one or two doses of that and whatever was trying to get me is gone. So oregano oil you can also get at your local health food store, highly recommend it. Um, something that should be said though about these two products because they are so potent and so strong is that just like with a pharmaceutical antibiotic, if you're going to wipe out all the bacteria, good and bad, you want to be sure to replenish with good bacteria in the form of probiotics and that can can come by way of eating fermented foods regularly in your diet or you can purchase a high quality uh, supplement of probiotic at the health food store. Next, we have something called Thieves Oil, and this is a product made by Young Living Essential Oils. Um, Thieves Oil is this incredible blend of uh, essential oils that it really boosts your Im immune system and it's very easy to um, to take internally you can put one to two drops in a bottle of water shake that up down the hatch or you can use it in a diffuser and the diffuser will uh, bring the aroma out into the room that you're in and you inhale the vapors from that and it will actually really help to boost your immune system and ward off illnesses um, young living also makes these little travel size powders which I love because this is what I take with me when I board an airplane and I will take the thieves oil either before I get to the airport or when I get on the flight and I have not gotten sick flying around once which is really amazing considering how much those germs are just recirculated in the air on an airplane so thieves oil another really great product that you can use and then last but not least is a natural hand sanitizer that is, um, uses essential oils such as tea tree oil and lemon. Those are really good for killing bacteria and they mix it along with a little bit of alcohol. It's very pleasant smelling. Um, it's better for you than Purell which tends to have a bunch of unwanted chemicals and junk in it that you don't really want to be absorbing into your body. Uh, the best thing you can do really is to wash your hands very thoroughly but sometimes we're in situations or you're traveling or you're somewhere where you don't have access to a sink and soap and so keeping a bottle of hand sanitizer handy on you is a good idea to prevent those germs from getting near your system in the first place so these are just a handful of some of the remedies that I use personally for myself uh, I hope this video helps you thanks for watching and I will see you next time